This video is brought to you in part by SecondChanceGaming.com. They are a direct sponsor of me and this channel, and so if you want to indirectly support the channel while also buying or selling cards for your own matches, your own tournaments, your own duels, your own purposes, your own needs, then definitely check out their site and see what they have to offer you. I'm a big fan of how they do business, and their pricing and shipping from what I've seen and experienced thus far are both top notch. So definitely check out their site, which is linked in the description, and let them know that Phoenix sent you. But with that out of the way, let's get straight into the video. Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here, and this video is giving me another Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Duel video, and this time you find me in a change of scenery. I've been, uh, I've been doing some grinding through the Checkmate server, specifically because I, uh, I just really, really wanted to, um, to have a change of scenery, change of pace, because I've been playing against the same people in my Discord server for such a long fucking time that, uh, that I really just, I needed something to change, you know? But so, I chose to go second against someone called Fright Fur and Friends, and, and, I mean, to no surprise, they're playing Fluffles. Now, I'm playing on the Checkmate server, which means OCG and TCG cards are allowed, but for this video, I'm playing a TCG Necros deck, the one that I played in the previous video with some changes that I've made to the list. Now, this Dark Hole is going to be super, su like, super spice, super saucy, especially if he, like, sets cards. Hell yeah, he set a card. Amazing. Which means I can Dark Hole this if things get, like, necessarily rough, or I could save it for later, but I get to Trishula him this turn, I get to do a lot, actually. So what we'll do is we'll do this. We'll normal summon this and activate its effect. Uh, and I'll search for Unicorn. Because I can go Unicorn to like negate everything that he does for the remainder of the game. I can use Clausulus here to get Kaleidoscope. I'm just going to be playing out my turns super quick, super fast. And we'll see what happens uh, from there. So use the Herald of the Arclight in my extra deck to summon the Unicorn. And then the Herald of the Arclight can be used here. To search for Brianak, and I'm going to use Brianak to actually go ahead and search for uh, for Great Sorcerer for a very specific reason. Uh, well, actually, no, I'm not going to use it to search for Great Sorcerer. What I'm going to do instead is I can search for Ariel, and then Ariel could search for Great Sorcerer that way, or I could just go ahead and do it like a regular person. Um, uh, I can search Great Sorcerer. I've already got the Exa, um, and that means I can do some things with uh, with certain play lines. Uh, that in that way. So yeah, we'll do Exa because I'm gonna or the Great Sorcerer because I'm gonna ditch the Exa and the Great Sorcerer, and then I'll be able to Catastor uh, a card back. But what I'm gonna do here is I am going to hmm, where's my Tornado Dragon? I know for a fact there's a Tornado Dragon in this extra deck. Oh well, whatever. I guess we'll just do this and see what happens instead. Uh, I was gonna Tornado Dragon his uh, thing, but if I don't get the Tornado Dragon, then we'll just do it this way. Uh, but so we'll use these two from hand. We'll just take the the straight up kind of negative. Uh, like well, it's not even really, even really a negative. They're gonna they're gonna replace themselves. I don't know why I keep saying things as like positive, like in terms of like positives and negatives, um, in terms of card advantage. But so uh, if I attack over this, that's a thousand. These two are a good bit. Um, I'm just gonna get rid of this. I'm gonna banish this toy vendor. I'm gonna take a card out of his hand. What did I hit? Um, I need to check. <laughs> I'm also running really low on time because of the Checkmate server's clock. The Checkmate server clock forces you to play super fast, which is something that I really enjoy for video purposes, but it also just makes things super stressful. Uh, but so, we're going to use this Exa, uh, the Catastrophe to get back Exa, and now from here I could just literally attack everything. This should be at least decently close to game. If it's not, then I'm going to be a little bit upset. But at the same time, I've got a Valkyrus backing up the entirety of my board. Okay, yeah, it's nowhere near game. Um, it would have been game if I had banished his dog. That's irritating to a certain level. But at the same time, I can start getting resources back. I don't necessarily need to worry about anything because of the fact that I have um, that I have uh, gotten rid of his uh, his what you do, Dad? The um, the Kaiju Slumber. Uh, that's a Senju. That's a good follow-up. I've got the Valkyrus to keep him from killing me. If he clears my board, then I just get to summon Valkyrus. With I can Dark Hole his field. Then I can summon Valkyrus. Uh, do my stuff. Okay, he's just surrendering. Five cards in hand and you're surrendering. <laughs> what the fuck? How does that work? I'm really confused now. Um, I'm, con I'm confused. I'm confused. I want to know what the rest of his hand is. We're going to do something we haven't done in a long time. Why? Because I don't have the benefit of a Discord server to know what this person was playing. So we're going to check this replay and we're going to see what he's got in his hand that would warrant him just scooping to this. Alright, well, suddenly it makes sense. 
<laughs> he just doesn't really have much in terms of what he can do because of the fact that even though he resolved Toy Vendor, um, I can't remember what he searched off the Toy Vendor. I think he searched Fluffle Dog and then searched Fluffle Wing off the Fluffle Dog. That's interesting. If that's the case, if that's the if that's the order that it went in, I need to I'll, I'll find out in editing the video basically. Uh, but <laughs> if that's the order that it went in, then holy shit, um, there might have been some better things to uh, to do there. But so that was. Um, that was not what I was expecting to get, and this is going to be a relatively short video, but hey, there's two videos going up today, so I mean, I guess that, that works. Now, I'm probably going to be doing a lot more playing on the Checkmate server as of, you know, as of the immediate future, one, because I haven't been able to, like, get very good, and, like, concrete recording schedules, and that kind of, bit, like, hurts the fact that I have a Discord based around people having recording schedules, and I don't have one, so oops. Um, so, like, and also, like I said earlier, I just need a change of pace, a change of scenery, because of the fact that, like... I'm playing against the same people, like the same key four people all the time, <laughs> and uh, those people like to play the same thing over and over again. And honestly, I'm tired of people talking shit about the people I play against when they're people that I actually talk with on a daily basis and care about on kind of a personal level. When they're just like people are just talking shit about the way they're playing in videos just because they're not playing super optimally because they're not the highest competitive tier duelist in the land. Uh, there's things like that that kind of irk me, so I might be uh, inhabiting the Checkmate server for a little while, and I do love the fact that the Checkmate server just has that timer that forces fast play, uh, because of the fact that it means you can get a lot done in a short amount of time. Like, if I'm playing on the Checkmate server, if there's a way to work matches in, um, which I don't think there is, but I'll have to look into it, then I might start playing match videos on the Checkmate server, because of the fact that that timer makes the games go super quick, whereas regular gameplay... Um, your timer is like a four minute timer or two to three minute timer and you can just sit there and run it out Whereas on checkmate you have like 60 seconds and you better make a play But anyway as always guys thanks for watching Let me know what your thoughts are on the comments down below all this sort of nonsense links are in the description of my Facebook and patreon pages If you want to get access to my private discord server and help the channel support the channel in a good way if it's something you want to do then definitely check out the Patreon link in the description down below. Uh, you can get access, like I said, to my private Discord server where me and a bunch of other people chat on a daily basis if, you want, if you're interested in that. If you want to talk Yu-Gi-Oh, talk whatever, get help with things, all that sort of nonsense, then that is something you would probably be interested in. But other than that, as I've already said, thanks for watching. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Subscribe if you already haven't, if you're new here and liked what you saw. Would definitely love to help, you know, welcome you to the community based around this channel with me at the helm of this crazy dysfunctional family that's actually like a possible thing to have going on. But I digress. I'm going to stop rambling. I'm going to figure out what I want to do for my next step for doing uh, content for the channel and all that sort of nonsense. As I've already said, thanks for watching. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Thanks for your time as usual, guys, and take care. I will see you in the next video.